Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bunny Says. I'd like to introduce you to another episode of uh, Town of Light. Hope that didn't make too much noise, I just moved my microphone a little bit. Um, I was having a big problem with the controller here, and it turns out uh, if you ever do have a problem like this, it, the character kept on walking backwards or walking in random directions and just continuing and not moving, not stopping. Uh, I was trying to figure out what was going on. It would sometimes switch from the controller to the mouse back and forth. And and it turns out it was, um, I think I figured it out. Uh, I have a steering wheel attached. So I unplugged the steering wheel. And, and just in case I unplug the controller as well. So <clears throat> that seems to be working perfectly now. Unless I start walking backwards, in which case I'm in trouble. Now again, we're back here in the, the town of light. I'm just looking around the architecture in the place. I'm sorry, I know this is going to be this is going to be more of a meditative uh play uh game. I mean this won't be oh there's a doorway down there. Oh, that went in there, yeah. So uh, I hope you're in the mood for just sitting back and relaxing and listening. Uh I'll try to give you some information and some different things. But uh, it, it, this, this is a particular interest to me because of the just the various architecture of the places. And it's really interesting to see the different designs of the buildings, you know. Um, I know, okay. Go in here and see what's going on. I guess this would be the meeting room hall. Yeah. It's interesting. You see, see how the, see how the places out here. Can I turn these lights on? No, I guess not. See if I get up closer, can I? No, I can't jump, huh? Okay, well that's too bad. I would really like to see a... Fascist National Federation for the Fight Against Tuberculosis. The civilized person does not spit on the ground and does not swear God. Uh, Central Anti-Blasphemy Committee under the honorary chairmanship of His Majesty the King. Wow, is it really a anti-blasphemy committee? That's really frightening, actually. I really hope somebody who is Italian uh, sees this and can tell me a little bit about this. Or knows of some of these things. It'll be really interesting to know. I'm assuming this is the waiting room. These would be the two waiting rooms, you know? And this would be like the, the, um, oh yeah, we looked at these, yeah. That's right, and these coins. And this would be the uh, greeting center, I would guess. Oh yeah, that's right, I looked at this. The problem was, is um, the game didn't stop at... Uh, it's really nice, actually. The game doesn't stop at the exact spot. Uh, there's no save to it. There's a, it, it saves by chapter. So I had to restart the whole chapter over over again and had to walk up here and see what was going on. So I don't 
so I only remember exactly where I left off. No. Probably some kid's drinking or something. So, uh, is that the telephone? Wow, look at those old telephones, huh? Man, those are hardwired, huh? <laughs> those are unbreakable. Well, apparently I can say unbreakable, but. It'd be really interesting to read some of these files, some of these old case files, you know. Just to see. What is this? Patient discharge, readmission, readmission document. Uh, name and surname Francesca Agostini, number 65027. Paternity Aduano, Aduino. Paternity uh, Matelli Gina, born in uh, Velletri Province, Roma, okay, on October 13th, 1895. Place of residence, Velletri Province, Roma. Marital, marital status, widow, admitted on May 30th, 1916. So she was 21. Diagnosed early dementia. Really? Referred from Rome Asylum, transfer to Asylum Observation Rooms. She was a widow at 21. Wow. Dismissal DMV DMY form of dismissal file number readmission DMY form of readmission blah 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 1939 resp respiratory disease So it's interesting to see the different uh, Yeah, like you look at the windows, right? They're really huge, these big, huge windows. So you see, a, you get a lot of light, and you get a lot of natural light coming in and stuff. But then you always remember that there's bars on them, you know? So they look like jail bars all the time. Look like jail cells, you know? So at the same time, it's reminding you that there's something nice outside, but you can't go out there. <laughs> You're in jail, you know? I wonder if there's some kind of way to rectify that. What's this? What was that? The first page. J. Oop, no, what was that? Oh, okay, what was this? Oh, okay, this is my experience. Okay. This is new. Ton of light. Okay, here we go. This is, oh, I get to read my thing now. Wow, how do I do that? Uh, pan, zoom. Oh, what do I just... Oh yeah, okay, I remember this. So when I get to the part that I... Oh, God. My memory of those years is hazy. Between the age of about seven and ten, my memory were disconnected, and I couldn't say how many times and how frequently the light used to come. My mother gave me a doll around that time. Charlotte. Thinking back to it makes me want to laugh. But at the beginning, I remembered that I was afraid of her. I thought she wanted to harm me, to kill me, or take my kids. But when the light came, she would sit beside me, and her presence shrank. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard that. I'll, you know, and I'll turn this up. Uh, sound is very low. Well, okay. Put the volume in the middle. I'll read that to you just in case. Um, Real quick. Uh, 
My memory of those years is, is hazy. Between the age of about 7 and 10, my memories are unconnected and I couldn't uh, say how many times and how many uh, how many times and how frequently the light used to come. Oh, really? Okay. My mother gave me a doll around that time, Charlotte. And there's a picture of a doll here. That's actually really freak, sort of a creepy looking doll. But I mean, I don't know. Thinking back to to it makes me want to laugh. But at the beginning, I remember that I, I was afraid of her. I thought she wanted to harm me, to kill me, and to take my place. But then the light would come, and she would. I can't read that part. And she would stay beside me, and and what? Oh, here we go. Did not disturb me. And did not disturb me. I okay. was able to talk to her, and so she became my best friend. At least until I was in grade two, when everything changed. She didn't laugh at me, and if I had to say something to my mother, I asked her to say it. When things inside me turned bad, she was the only one I could turn to. Now all of this makes me blush, but Charlotte was a real friend to me. I knew that she was just a doll. I wasn't stupid. But at the same time, she was real, too. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's difficult. My mother would cuddle her and tell her things. I guess she was trying to communicate with me. But back then, I was too afraid to understand it. Hmm. Is there more? Okay, I guess not. That's a shame. That's sort of, uh... Well, it sounds like she had problems, and she said the light would come. Now, wow, what's that? She said the light would come. Now I'm wondering what the light, what she meant by the, the light, what she means by that. Is that like, was she have like blinding flashes, or was she having episodes or something, or you know something like that? Maybe, um, you know, maybe she was just, she could have just been sick, you know. There's a lot of things going on back then, especially around this time. A lot of uh, influenza, tuberculosis, you know, you know, they were, you know, what they were called consumption, you know. And, uh. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte. My doll. Well, would your doll still be here? Can't they get it? I keep forgetting to press the uh, mouse button. To uh, open stuff, like ah, these beautiful glass work like this, like that. Oh, it's such a shame. These old buildings go to ruin and stuff, you know. And uh, I'm not just, you know, I'm not just. I'm not an architecture freak or anything like that. I just think it's, you know, shame somebody goes out of their way to make all this, do all this work, and then it just goes to waste, you know. When it could be repurposed for something, you know, it could be made into a homeless shelter or something or anything, you know.
Is that the urinals that is that they have? Do they have the um, like the sit down urinals where you like squat and do that? I, I know they have that in Asia as well. Okay, it's locked, I guess. Damn. Peeling the paint and all this. This looks like a cozy place. Really? Can I sit in it? I don't think it does. No, no, she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. Okay, I'm starting to worry about this woman. I, I think she's... She she wants her doll, right? Okay, I'll, I'll find your doll. Where is she? Let's search the wards on the upper floor. There's a plan on the uh. wall which shows their location. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, upper floor, I got it, I got you. Upstairs, I forgot about that. I, I forgot there was even an upstairs. Okay. Does that work? Hmm. Oh, wow. Crazy drawings. Okay, let's get to the doll. She's gonna flip out if she doesn't get a doll soon, I think. It's a light in this place. Renee doesn't want to abandon her. Okay, alright. Okay. We won't. Is it lit? I don't like the fact that that's on. Is this a generator? Some kind of generator or something? This really shouldn't be on. Oh, wow, that's gross. Okay. Oh, wow, really? Seriously? That's what. Oh, man. You make a slice in the back of the neck like that in the spine like area of the neck and shove stuff through it? What why? Oh god, what are they doing to these oh wow. What is this? What the hell is going on with this is this what is it this is how you break people's arms and then re break them or something? And of course, you tear somebody's face open. I mean, if they're dead already, that's fine. But if they're alive, I, you know. Wow. Well, okay. It's yeah. Let's yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay. I'd say gynecology one. Okay. Maybe, maybe she's in there. Oh no. Okay. No, this is. Okay. Okay. I can't get in the gynecology room. Let's let's look over here. Was rather frightening. Um, doors locked. What is this? Surgery C. Surgery B. And surgery A. 
Oh, there she is. Is that her? Yeah, oh my god, that is creepy as hell. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. Who, her mother? I lived Not in sure, constant but... fear that Mom would abandon her. Well. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. It's well, cold and it's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. We can Very take well. care of her. Nobody can stop us. Okay, Charlotte is a good girl. Okay, this is where it says chapter two. Okay, I'll stop here. Uh, I'm gonna look at that synopsis thing though first. Okay, okay. The memories. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She okay, it's just okay. Okay, it's just medical records. No, I thought it was the diary. Okay, we did the diary part. We did that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and I guess the doll isn't as creepy as I thought. Not th oh wow, what the hell was that? On the table, that is. What the hell is that? Is that some guy's mouth? Like ripped open? Like all the way open like that? How is that Jesus Christ? Wow. Man, doctors can be creepy sometimes. What is this? Tincture of what? Quin Tincture of Quintonic Cantario. Whatever it is, I don't think it's a good idea to be touching that. What's this? Some more. Estrado Fluido de, de Grindelia Dentira de Cantario I'm guessing these are like knockout things Maybe let's enlighten these places Is there something in here? Nothing? Okay Okay, we got Charlotte, so. Alright, I'm gonna save here since this, this is the second chapter. And uh, I hope you uh, join me again. I'll have some more information. I'll, I'll try to find out some more information and some things. And so uh, I'll give you some something to think about and some things to hear while we're going through this. So, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm Bunny Says, and uh, I hope you enjoy this. So, please join me again. Goodbye for now.